Hello everyone. So this video I'm going to go over a couple different ways of killing and or farming stink bugs for gas sacks. Gas sacks are still quite useful uh, depending on what you're up to. Um, great for clearing out gnats and stuff like that. Ant hill, that kind of thing. So first we're going to start with, let me go back over here on the rock so I can kind of show exactly where I'm standing. Alright, so you see where I'm at on the map. This is the pond. Frankenline's right here. I'm northeast of Frankenline. Just to the left of this little point on the pond. So that's where I'm at. Now for my status, these are all wrong. I always keep Coup de Gras on. I'm going to keep on Cardio Fan. And then Javelin Ear. Now if you haven't unlocked Javel Javelin Ear or you're working on leveling it up, this first method will be the method to use. But first I'm going to run up and just poke them. I need him to chase me. Yeah, I need him not to do that. There. See, they keep wanting to do their gas attack because I'm trying not to uh, lose too many spears to these guys. So they're going to come up and they're going to stop right there. Now, wherever you have your throw button set to, you're just going to spam that out. Now you've noticed I had 24 spears. I made a bunch of little pebble spears or pebblet spears. Um, pebblet spears. I made a bunch of them. I literally filled my inventory full. So let me go collect all these. And it says my inventory is full. I don't need these things. If you've seen any of my streams, you'll know that I have way too many of those. So now I have um, just a massive amount of spears. And I know it seems like overkill, but for the, the purposes of throwing the spears, it works quite well. Now I need him to aggro on and follow. So for some reason he seems to... How does Robbie put it? He's stuck. So that guy's over there. So I'm going to start throwing him. Now, I think I'm at the edge of this one's range. I'm going to grab some of my spears. I'm going to back up because he's about to do a gas attack on those ants, and I don't want to be in that. So, I'm just waiting for the gas cloud to go away before I start chucking more of these spears at him. While I wait, I'll go ahead and get rid of this. Now, when I throw one, he's probably going to run. Yep. I moved up too fast. So do be, do be careful. Don't, don't get too close to him too quick. Because it will hurt. Now obviously if they're going to run. This could be a bit of a problem. And if you get your. Your. Uh, clicking of the. Like the rhythm for clicking the throw button down. You can throw them pretty quick. So I killed four, got four gas sacks. Let me grab all my spears. So I'm back to 23 spears. I lost a spear somewhere. I don't know where I went. Doesn't really matter. It's a pebble spear. I'm not too worried about it. So I made a whole bunch of them. Just to come over here and just kind of play with it a little bit. As far as you doing the javelin here. That's how I got my javelin here completed. was literally killing stink bugs. I ran around killing other things too. But the stink bugs were the thing I used the most. So now I'm going to switch up my setup and go kill some more. So we pause for a moment. I'll be right back. All right. Now that I've gone through and kind of got set up for the next uh, the next set of attacks. Um, before I even get started, I'm going to say that I use the Pebblet Spear and not the Bone Trident. Because one, Bone Trident's a little bit more uh, expensive as far as like the materials needed. The Sunken Bones are not as easy to get as Pebblets, as you see a bunch on the ground. And two, I really wouldn't want to lose a tier two spear like that, or have to throw that many of them, or because you, you know, obviously would have to throw quite a few. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the second way. I would, uh, I this is the way I, I almost always do. It. I'm gonna use the bone arrow here. 
So you see I'm west of the anthill in this area of dry grass. It's big open space, a little bit of dry grass in the middle, and then stink bugs. There's three, I think there's actually four. Uh, the cassette's right back there. That wool spider from an earlier video I made is back there. So you kind of see this is where I'm at. So let me first get my stuff on. So we're going to have on your marksman's cap. We're going to be using the tier 2 insect bow and the tier 2 feather arrows for the status. We're just going to change. only status we're going to change is my sharpshooter. So we're still going to have cardio fan, sharpshooter, and coup de gras. So first I want to get them to follow me. I don't want to just... I actually... I need it to not do that. I need it to follow. Come on, let's go. Now, I could be jumping and shooting, but um, if you have the the regular sprig bow and a whole bunch of regular arrows, this will still work in this exact spot. That little pebblet right there is what you're looking for. You want to lead him around to that the, the upper side of that pebblet, and he'll walk up right there and stand still. And then you can literally just sit here and shoot him. Even if it is with the pebblet arrow, oh, sorry, the sprig bow and the um, regular arrows. This is still a legit way to do it. Um, I've helped uh, several people on stream do this, uh, either go into their world or just kind of talk them through it, either one. But as you see, that's a very easy way to do it. And I'll get the other three real quick. Now, of course, you don't have to, like he's kind of stuck behind this, this dandelion right here. And when he goes to do his gas attack, you can literally just keep backing up and shoot if you have the, the same setup I'm running. Now, even though I can't see the green gas, I know there's a gas cloud right there. So I'm not going to go mess with it. I'm going to go around this way. And I think this one's also uh, climbed up onto the uh, dandelion and got himself stuck. They do that sometimes. I've actually seen this one be all the way up there before. And only to kill it and it stayed up there. Great fun. But the gas cloud from that first one I shot just a second ago uh, is gone by now. I just want to get my arrows. These are feather arrows. so Not that I need uh, more feathers, but still. These are the good arrows. Picking things up in third person is not always easiest because the little dot in the middle of your screen is not very accurate when you're in third. Let me just check to make sure that I'm not missing one because I could have sworn there was four. Unless the fourth is Steve and he's just not here because he died somewhere. Or was it because two days ago in game a stink bug wandered in that direction towards the anthill and died? Either way. So from here I'm going to head towards Rake Rock Point, which you see right here marked on the map. It's just the, we're going to be underneath the handle of the rake. And I'm going to switch to um, melee fighting. So the next two groups will be melee fighting. So the trick is to get them to do their gas attack before you get in too close. Or get them to do the gas attack and then you back up and have them come to you. So I'm going to switch my armor. And we're going to go ahead and switch over to, we're going to go Mint Mallet for this one. So you see I got a couple of them moving around. I just need to basically get them to do their gas attack. I really don't want to fight more than one at a time. Uh, apparently I have to fight a spiderling real quick. Or a blade of grass because I missed. Oh, here's Steve. There's four of them here. Oh my god. Run! Obviously fighting more than one at a time is bad because of how hard they can hit. Their melee is very strong. So you kind of want to weed them off and get one at a time. And as you can see, they walk up to the dandelions. And even though I'm right in close, he's not trying to do his gas attack because he's still trying to get to me. So dandelions, as long as you're, you know, obviously have these big leaves sticking off the side, are great for that because you can lead these guys right up to it and you see an easy kill. Now, there's only supposed to be three up here, but I saw four. Yep, there's still three right here. Two to my left, one up to the right. I'm trying to get this guy to follow me. There. I need him to not be stuck. Because this time I want to do... 
I want him to do his gas attack like that so I can back up. Because if he exhausts his gas attack there, I can then fight him over here. But I need him to come after me. And you see, I have a lot of healing smoothies with me. Um, and he has missed twice now. So they're pretty easy to take out with the mint mallet. Ladybug armor just helps. Uh, that extra defense, as well as the healing ability. So the trick is to get him to do his gas attack here. And run away before he obviously goes off. You don't want to be in that because it's going to hurt. And then... Now, if you're, good at, if you're better at blocking than I am, as you can see, I'm not very good at it. But that's just kind of how I've been playing the game. I do play on uh, mild, medium, whatever it is. Medium. The middle one. So there's what, mild, medium, and whoa, I play on medium. So they still hit kind of hard, but they're not as bad. This guy apparently is stuck, so this is a free kill. Uh, so that's not what I really like. I, not for these videos anyway. But free kills are free kills. So with the 10 gas sacks on, was that, 7 stink bugs right there, plus the original 4. So now I'm going to do my last one. Which I don't have to gear up because I got everything with me. So we're just going to go over here to my upside down pyramid. Like the snot out of lawn, uh, like a lawn mite. I'll hit my head a few times getting in, but that's okay. So we're going to put that down. Now this next one is going to be with the bone trident. A lot faster. Still can stun. Um, I think that, you know, obviously the damage is going to be a little bit lower. But there's one more group of uh, stink bugs. And that is over here towards the, what is that? Eastern flooded zone. So what we're going, where we're going is right here. So east of Spade Gulch, there's this uh, field station. There's some stink bugs right around it. So that's where I'm going now. Now... I should have taken that off for that last fight. I could have put uh, something else on. I want to take a look at that. I Let's see. Well, we're going to put that on anyway. I don't think it works for it. Just because it's not classified as a spear. I'm just going to kill a few of these on the way there. I only put on Daredevil so I can jump down since I don't uh, have a Dandelion Tuft. That way I wouldn't take a ton of damage. It, you know, your character doesn't take much damage. Your armor does take damage though. So that is the maybe the unwanted trade-off. For me, it's an unwanted trade-off. There is a stink bug just to my right that I ran past. I'm not worried about him right now. Um, I have a bigger target. Okay. So if you find this little hill with the roots coming out, the water, a little water puddle, it's got some clay in it. Also has a tunnel underneath there. But you can see the field station's right in front of me. And there's at least one stink bug directly in front, one stink bug over here to the right. There should be one more somewhere. Okay, I got his attention. That's what I want. I want him to do his uh, gas attack. Then I want him to come to me. For some reason, blocking with my, my mouse doesn't want to work. But you can see this, the bone trident is also a very good option. As I didn't have to stop swinging until he was almost dead. So, another great option is that. Like I said, cardio fan, javelin ear, coup de gras. Whether or not javelin ear works, I doubt it. Because this is not uh, classified as spear. Now I'm going to move away from him. When you catch him sleeping, that's the best thing to go is go out and stab him a few times. And then step back so you make sure you're out of their gas area. And obviously if you're not standing still, it may might be a little bit harder for him to hit you. That, ga that gas cloud is still, still there to the right, so we're going to go to the left. There should be one more. There he is. Let me move back. Ooh, free food. 
Raw aphid. Free food. It looks like it's stuck, and that's a bad thing if it's stuck inside of its own uh, thing. So they keep missing. Oh, there we go. Now I got a good hit on me. So the bone trident, out of all four of those methods, the bone trident, if you're going for melee, um, obviously bow and arrow for um, distance. Uh, let's see. Is that all of them? Yeah, there's one more. Put that one back. That's back towards my blue base, my rose garden base. I mean, he's there just sleeping and chilling. He's the only one left in the world. Might as well clear them all out at one run. And luckily, he's right over here. I think this thing is stuck. So the only the only decent thing to do would be to stick a trident through it. So there's this guy right here. And you see, he's kind of stuck on that uh, leaf right there to my left. And he's been stuck up here for a bit. Yes, Robbie, I know. Bugs are stuck. But that's a different, couple of different ways of uh, farming stink bugs. Just to get the gas axe. Gas axe are still very useful for making gas arrows. Or if you're after, oh, which there's a smoothie that has requires uh, the gas sack. I want to say it's the gastro goo, which makes sense, but not 100% certain on that one. I can check that in just a second, just to make sure. But uh, that's just a couple different ways, like I said, to farm them up, uh, get those quick kills in real quick. Especially if you have to get the uh, kill stink bugs mission from Burgle. That's just some different options. If you want to work on... You know, your sharpshooter um, or your javelinier, those, those are some, some other options. Because javelinier, you want to maybe throw those javelins or the spears at bigger targets, such as stink bugs, if you can get them to stand still. But if you like, if you guys like this content would like to see more like it, hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. I do stream five days a week on my YouTube, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I do have a Discord. You guys can join that. The link will be in the description below. Um, that way you can uh, get up to date info, you know, for whatever reason my schedule has to change. But uh, until the next video, or if you decide to stop by a live stream, you guys have a good one.